Defense Minister denies calling Tirumbu a drug lord. Welcome to the news and thank you for turning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we post our juicy news updates. Please click on the notification bell. Minister of Defense Bashar Magashi has denied calling the president elect Bola Tirumbu a drug lord, describing the claim as spurious. The retired general purportedly said it is an insult to the military to have a known drug lord as a CNC of the armed forces of Nigeria. A statement on Saturday by his spokesperson Muhammad Abdul Kadi said the myopic, diabolic, and despotic publication can be traced to anti democratic forces. Bagashi accused this disgruntled element of trying to drag its reputation and that of the nation's apolitical military into the disparaging Turumbu. The minister recalled that he was one of the first members of the Federal Executive Council, FEC, that congratulated the president-elect. Magashi condemned the concussion of fake news against him at a time he is busy supervising the military in aid of civil authority to defend Nigeria's democracy. The minister's unblemished pedigree speaks volume as a lawyer member of the All Progressive Congress alongside being a credible elder statesman in the same party for the president elect, the statement reads. It's added that no propaganda or blackmail targeted at Magashi and the military would deter them from dealing with any person or group whose agenda is to disrupt the May 29th inauguration. Okay, so this man in the drug I'm saying. Hmm. Oh, wow. Did the drug I'm saying called Tunubu? The defense meter denied calling Tunubu a drug lord because he gets very good rich. You will look at I'm telling you. Okay. Now, this issue. First of all, why did the Minister of Defense who come outside come talk against, you know, Against Tunumbu. Anyway, there are two things involved. It's either in Tokam or in Tokam. And if in Tokam, now we say you could avoid the what's it called. If in Tokam, now we say you could avoid you avoid, you know, working with this, you know, particular president or he doesn't want anything to do. It's the two things involved. Those who are actually working with Muhammad Buhari. There are two things. It is either they are coming out, no, say they don't, they go house. They look come as a con. You know, I don't think so. most of the time they don't come out and talk about the incoming president. You understand? Or the incoming person. But Magashi? Magashi will not. I don't know. <laughs> Just be like, say, some of them, some of them that's working for Buhari now, this, uh, this particular. Administration, some of them would also want to cross over. So, why then go come as I can't see uh, this man in talk? So, I don't understand. It is the handwork of video, they are favored fully in all the antics, people of hate, anger, and bitterness characters. This then, this article did not say they, they are the one that called him down. The truth cannot be hidden from the people for, for long. The defense minister spoke the truth, the truth, and nothing but the truth. Huh. Okay, for the first time, clearly known to many in modern Nigeria, since return to democracy, a group of people with the mindset of if we cannot get it on its will, is how bent on destroying this hardened process and taking Nigeria backwards. But for INEC vigilance, this group would have deployed the knowledge to cause turbulent dislocation in the system, leaving many wondering how the sectionally popular candidates got into presidency. The latest gimmick is to go the military to intervene, in a democracy with fake news. Now, this is what I'm going to say. They should be careful. Make them make sure, say, they be extremely careful because this kind of news, you know, it sits well with the military. I mean, it sits well. <laughs> if he says so, it is not the truth. Is he denying that he is not a drug lord? He said he has not been convicted. Smart thief, catch me if you can. When you are arrested and jailed, don't say it was a hated you. You people have decided to be suicidal as usual. But how do you mean suicidal? And you might soon get one related to the unreasonable and naive behavior of Ujuku that brought destruction to your race. The destruction the Igbos are still suffering today. Why don't you caution yourself from behaviors that attract confrontation and hatred? Thank you. 
I beg stop all this. Is it not a drug lord? Is it not a drug lord? If even if you said what will happen, you're just being truthful. Make another day careful. Oh. Hmm. Tenobu's regime. Should I say his administration? I don't know how it is going to be because now Tenobu administration, now him somebody come outside, go talk. Okay, that's it, Baba Ahmed. Went and said, you know, swearing in Tenobu on May 29th is going to be highly unconstitutional and, you know. So, I, do, I don't think he would. Anyway, it's actually torn between two. It's torn between two because I am thinking, why would he, if the defense minister would want to work with Tenobu, if the minister want to work with Tenobu, majority of people who would be working with the president, I mean, this is our sitting president, I am sure that if they are given an opportunity, they're going to want to stay more. Now, it is either they are not wanting to get into problems with him. They are looking for appointments. That is what that was explained in my head. They are even trying to be extra nice, you know, extra, you know, so that you see them that, oh, they can actually do a one or two things for you. Or they are coming out to attack you because they don't like you and they surely they don't want to work with you. I am actually torn between the two, but I don't think the def defense minister would come out and do that. Did he? I, I can't wrap my head around the fact people saying he actually did. I know fit. Sincerely, I know fit. I know fit. A lot of people coming out to say uh, Terenbo is a drug and all. This is not nice. I understand that, yes, this man can get plenty, plenty cases, but I think we should let it go. I understand that this man has not come out to... You know, say this thing when you talk about me, you know, they okay, you know, they nice. I did not do this, or you know, come out to say something about this particular issue. But that does not mean we should come out and you know, refer to him as a drug dog like this. This is not nice. Until what we can see, an office holder in Nigeria that is able to say what is right, regardless of his position and money and interest. Hmm. My dear, even me, even me, you understand. This is what this is what I want for Nigeria. This is what I know the majority of us want. People who are going to challenge the school start the school and damn the consequences. People who like, you know, this is the right thing to do for the people of Nigeria. This is the right thing to do for my country and I will do it no matter what. It is until we get such people that maybe maybe Nigerians will go start to the <laughs> Refer to people like drug lords. And even if we get such people, I don't think they're going to be having this kind of weighty you know, accusations against them. Or well, what do you think? Would they still be having that? Me, I think, you know, I don't think they would. All right. Um, His president elect does not chase his past or pedigree. Yes, I understand. But Tinubu would have come outside to clear this thing. Sincerely, I can only imagine because this thing is actually going to be here for a very long time. That is, Tinubu coming out to, you know, people coming out to refer to Tunumbu, if he's sworn in, people come to refer to him as what they're referring to him today. Sincerely, that is why I keep saying during that campaign period, this month we don't come outside. If we don't come outside, can't talk, can't say, oh, you know, this thing where they happen, no, Nami Duam, or see where thing happen, or see how the matter take be. Not be as soon as use the thing come. Hmm? Okay. Why treating the purveyor of fake news with key gloves? Use the intel to fish out the criminals and deal with them decisively. Well, my dear, if uh, if you are saying this now at all news, as in at all the fake news, I go to jump up, but you are being biased. But I would like you to know such news will continue to exist because today, unlike before in the past, we have journalists who they really care about Nigeria. And they tell you, we get journalists who be saying, if not be the truth, they are not even right. But today, just give one person, just offer one token. Offer one token and give to somebody fake news. They don't even mind. Then go post them. As security forces, please learn to investigate every matter now of the ordinary people because we all matter. Now I see how painful it is for things you did to say to be held against you just to paint you in a bad light. This is what many innocents suffer every time. Do not worry about the soldier of Nigeria. Only we get it. And this is also a time to tell ourselves that look waiting no day okay in the op as in waiting we say if you dare expose you no know, go day okay no do I'm in secret 
if you are in a position of authority, so that something or not, you will not have anything to be used against you. Let your cupboard be empty. I'm saying it now. Because what is happening now? Because the number of ones today empty. I am telling you, his cupboard is definitely not empty. So we should try to live our, our lives, whether we are in a position, whether we are in a position, you know, public office or not, your own sole business or not. So we should be at a place where we know we get anything with somebody who used to say, ah, if you're not doing this thing for me, I go tell them, say, see what thing you do. All right, on this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen until I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.